today are an incredibly important locomotive. I mean, they were the first American-built locomotives to be introduced in Britain. They were the first private owner locomotives that British Rail allowed to be used on the main line. Of course, they set an enormous precedent. Their success led directly to other versions of the 59 and the 66 as well, which of course is now the default freight locomotive in Great Britain. The initial order of four for Foster Yeoman was sealed, followed by a fifth for Foster Yeoman, uh, and that was quickly uh, led on to uh, another batch of the 59 ones uh, for ARC, uh, and, and then ultimately the 59 twos uh, for National Park. For those of you not familiar with the history of 59003, it actually ended up going to Germany as part of a joint venture between Foster Yeoman and, uh, and Deutsche Bahn uh, in Germany, uh, and, and successfully lived in Germany uh, in a two or three different liveries uh, for, for a number of years. Uh, then in late 2014, um, Deutsche Bahn and the Heavy Coal Power International uh, were no lo longer using uh, 003, uh, and it got repatriated by GBRF. Uh, and actually it was uh, transformed from the German specification back into uh, a UK suitable spec um, here at Eastleigh. What you see on 59003 is completely unique uh, to, to this loco. Uh, there are certain details uh, that you'll only see that combination on 003. Uh, so the, the, the obvious ones on the cab front are the square buffers uh, and top marker headlights. Um, that, that we've tooled up uh, a specific uh, variation for, for this logo. We were developing more and more wagons uh, that were suitable to be hauled by a 59, uh, and we thought it was a logical missing link um, in the engaged market, uh, particularly with our Realmos wagons uh, on the way and about to start production. Uh, we thought that a 59 would complement nicely.